Now, meanwhile, uh, software producer BlackBerry is celebrating its 35th anniversary this week. A history, of course, that started with pagers, turned into handheld phones, transitioned into software, and now is poised to develop AI and machine learning. Here with a glimpse of their future, we've got John Chen, BlackBerry's CEO. Thanks for being with us, John. Uh, and I Thank guess you. I want to start with, you know, this is the week that marks 35 years. You're an iconic uh, Canadian company, but also globally known for that handset. You don't really want to be known for the handset anymore. Uh, tell me, and just reflect on how far you've come. You've been the turnaround guy. Is the turnaround done? Are you now uh, taking this company to next stage? Uh, absolutely. Thank you, ladies. Um, I, uh, you know, this, March 7 is our 35th anniversary, and like you pointed out, um, we have moved on, we on beyond the handset. Um, and it's no longer a turnaround story. It really is going to turn into a growth story. Um, uh, you know, I came about five, five plus years ago and kind of set a chapter 2.0. I mean, we're very proud of our heritage and our handset business, but we're going to move into much more uh, bigger, higher growth market. Uh, now, the fact of the matter is, um, you know, we're able to make an acquisition of silence uh, by writing a cash check a 1.4 billion should tell you a little bit about whether the turnaround is done or not. <laughs> so in terms of uh, what silence will bring to you, you're out there obviously at the big cybersecurity conference. Security is uh, one of the keys. AI obviously also uh, central to your future. What does the combination bring? When you talk about now there's growth, how much growth are you promising investors? <laughs> what are we looking forward to? I, I um, okay. I, it will, um, let me let me first say that um, silence is just the next chapter of our security story. Uh, we've been a very strong security um, software provider and, and and services provider to governments, banks, regulated industry, um, hospitals, and, and the likes. Um, so uh, it, it, the AI technology and the machine learning technology is definitely where the market is going. Uh, and, and it's very lightweight and it really is aiming for the Internet of Things, which is a lot of devices talking to each other. So, so we want to get into that in a very, you know, in a, in a leadership position. So, so that's, that's where we are. Um, now, as far as growth is concerned, I have not disclosed a number for next year. I just finished the fiscal year and we're in a quiet period, so I best not to make any specific Forecast. You will hear that in our earnings call or our analyst day in, in the next four to six weeks. Um, but, but, but it's safe to say that we're looking for good double-digit growth. BlackBerry's sales growth uh, trailed the enterprise mobility management market, uh, the, the growth in that market itself a couple of years back. Will the acquisition of Silence change that? Well, we, we've been growing... Um, kind of in a 10% range, um, and a year ago we grew 15% organically. So I'm, I'm not saying that the market is not good. Um, so the last year, you know, we, we, this particular year, as I said, I haven't really disclosed the result yet, mm. but we have told the street, but we have told the street that we're gonna be in the eight to 10% growth rate for our software business. And, I, and you know, we're still obviously affirming that, um, and though until we, we show you the results on that. Um, We've been growing a lot in the auto business, the software for the auto, uh, whether it's a connected car and the autonomous driven car. Beginning of the year, we're growing at 30% uh, year over year. So, so those are very promising areas to grow. So I, overall, as a company, we're doing quite well. Yeah, I mean, you do have the QNX operating system that continues to post solid, uh, solid sales. So what other big opportunities similar to auto are you seeing out there? Oh, um, lots of big opportunity. Uh, we haven't gotten into the so-called general, generally embedded market, which are in the more of the industry. Well, we're, I shouldn't say we haven't gotten into it, but the footprint there is not as big as we like. Um, you know, the medical devices uh, areas, the industry, the heavy industry areas, um, the, you know, the drone, the planes. I mean, there are a lot of opportunities in the, uh, in the embedded market for QNX. John, you've gone after uh, some very big names on the patent side, uh, including Twitter. Are these fights going to be worth the, uh, the money and the effort that you'll expend? Well, um, you know, any, any, any ongoing legal things, uh, obviously, um, I can comment, and it's probably inappropriate for me to comment. Um, you know, we, uh, we have a really strong portfolio of, of patents, um, you know, kind of the Canadian pride. Um, when I first came to the company, I, I think it's... 
it's, it's my duty to make sure that, you know, our contribution to the market is recognized. Um, so we're, we're working through with a lot of companies about licensing, and it's been, you know, resolved uh, quite amicably. Um, so you know, I hope that some of these more high-profile cases will be also resolved amicably uh, going forward. All right, and of course, the subject that's very top of mind today um, across the border here uh, is Huawei uh, strained tensions with China on the trade file, uh, on the diplomatic file. Do, does it concern you in terms of how the technology develops and your business in China? Uh, is China a security threat, and how do you manage it? Well, um, we don't do much uh, in China, especially when it comes to developed. Um, we do have partners developing uh, auto software in China, but mostly for the Chinese market. So it's not really re-exported outside of China, for that matter. So um, for BlackBerry, it's not a huge concern, but, you know, for more networking company, and you guys have been reporting it uh, quite often, um, you know, for network, phone companies, uh, telecommunication companies in general that are in the equipment side, they might have a little bit more concern. And so it really is a little bit out of my, uh, out of my elements. And, you know, I know very little. Um, I only learn, I only learn a lot of but, these things from, I only learn these things from listening to you all. But so. you know, just quickly though, how about the scrutiny on Chinese firms? Will that give you guys a competitive advantage? Uh, we, we hope so. Um, you know, we've been a very trusted source of security software for 5i country. The 5i, obviously, the country that share intelligence between, you know, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, UK, and USA. Uh, and then we're also a very trusted partners in the NATO world, uh, EU, um, as well mm. as the G G20. So because of that, you know, we're, we're in pretty good position. Not because of China, uh, Huawei and all that. It, it's because that we've been in this business for a very long time. <laughs> John, thank you so much. Always great having you sure. with us. Thank you. John Chen, BlackBerry CEO.